What's up guys, it's Jacob here for another Rugby Player EX video. Welcome. Welcome to Rugby Player EX to Henry Ruggs. In fact, the video is titled Why Henry Ruggs is the best wide receiver in the 2020 NFL Draft. In the previous video, I just looked at his highlights. You know, it's the first time I've seen him play. He's definitely got some speed. He's got some jukes, although I didn't see a hell of a lot. But with all that being said, we've got a video here. Why Henry Ruggs is the best wide receiver in the 2020 Draft. It's a scouting report. By respect the point, I have never watched one of his videos before, but if it's good enough, I'll subscribe. And with that being said, I mean, if you enjoy my video, um, you know, you can hit my subscribe button too. Or you could even like this video, which helps more people see it. And with that being said, let's get into it. John Ross made headlines at the 2017 NFL Scouting Combine. He ran the 40 yard dash in 4.22 seconds, setting a record. Yet now, in 2020, just a few short years later, could that record be broken? The answer is yes, because of this man. Henry Ruggs III. Okay, so this was before the combine. Six foot, 190 pounds, Ruggs might possess the best pure speed in the entire 2020 class. Ruggs is a receiver with acceleration that's oh, truly what rare. A catch. Most collegiate quarterbacks simply could not match his steps. In fact, he recently put that speed on tape when he absolutely destroyed some of his Alabama teammates in a 4x100 relay. Ruggs reportedly ran a 4.25 as a junior at Alabama. He's the favorite to be the fastest player in this year's 40 yard dash. It'll certainly be exciting to see if he can dethrone Ross's record, but Henry is more than just straight speed. This is his story. A native of Montgomery, Alabama, Ruggs was widely considered as one of the best high school prospects in the nation. 24-7 Sports considered him as a 5-star, and he was rated number 24 nationally in their top 247. He was also the outlet's top-rated receiver nationally. When it came time to make his college decision, Ruggs elected to stay close to home and commit to the University of Alabama. And it did not take long for him to make an impact with the Crimson Tide. In 2017, he was named to the All-SEC freshman team. He served as Bama's primary kick and punt returner, while also adding 12 receptions for 229. Really? So we didn't even see any of his kick returns or any of his punt returns. What? They're going to be one of his. They're going to be some of his best runs. Henry Ruggs kick returns. Jalen Waddle, quickest player in col. What? But hang on. Hang on, mate. Sick Edits HD has contradicted himself. He's calling Jalen Waddle and Henry Ruggs both the quickest player in college football. Robert E. Lee, number six. Henry Ruggs with a 100-yard kickoff return for touchdown. All right. Well, this is the only return we're going to see. All right. Well, this is... Well, this should be interesting. High school. High school football. 100-yard kickoff return. Come back to bite you if you don't capitalize on it. And that is the case right now. That bites you right in the, in the ruptured spleen. As A.J. Reid kicks this one away, and this one's going to be short at the goal line and brought out to the 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, and he is going to go all the way one. Too easy. Of which went for a touchdown. As a sophomore, Ruggs really took his game to the next level. He hauled in 46 catches for 741 yards and 11 scores. His 11 touchdown receptions tied for second in the SEC. He also ranked in the top 15 of the league in nearly every receiving category, while tallying 20 plus yard gains and 13 of his catches in 2018. It's also relevant to point out that 34 of his grabs went for either a first down or a touchdown. If that wasn't enough, Ruggs also displayed his heart and football instincts, as he also contributed eight tackles on special teams. As a junior, in his third and final season in Tuscaloosa, Henry Ruggs recorded 40 receptions for 746 yards and seven touchdowns, averaging a team high 18.6 yards per catch. Overall, he finished his time with the Crimson Tide, ranked third in Alabama's career touchdown receptions list of 24, and his average of 17.5 yards per catch across his three seasons is good for sixth on the UA career list. Now, you may be thinking that his counting stats aren't that crazy or worthy of first round consideration. However, you have to consider his very unique circumstances. Ruggs was playing with arguably the most talented wide receiving core in college football history. Jerry Judy, Devontae Smith, and Jalen Waddell are all legit stars they'll be playing on Sundays. Further, Alabama was so good God. at the that a lot of games did require them to throw the ball in the second half. Regardless, let's take a further look at Ruggs. 
What does this game look like? What makes him special? Well, it starts with the speed. I mean, obviously. There won't be many, if any, players on opposing defenses that can keep pace with him. He absolutely destroys pursuit angles with the ball in his hands and has a rare ability to accelerate and achieve unprecedented speed. But here's the thing. He isn't just a fast guy. His football skills are absolutely present at a high level. He features outstanding body control and ball skills to make him effective in contested situations. There are also plenty of reps out there that illustrate his ability to elevate and win through contact when necessary. Ruggs generally has no issues establishing his frame with a catch point and hauling in the football outside his frame with extension. He consistently makes excellent adjustments to the football in every direction. Yet, perhaps most important are his excellent intangibles. His competitive demeanor is evident in everything he does. He is fearless and will run slants and six routes over the middle and not flinch. He also does not shy away from the limelight, making contested catches in critical moments in the game. He works his tail off the block and competes with the ball in his hands post-catch. He also improved significantly by becoming an even better route runner in 2019 compared to 2018. He understands his landmarks and timing and illustrates the technique required to beat press coverage. There are not a lot of things Ruggs doesn't do well. Guys, I gotta be honest, man. This is this is really testing me because at the end of the day, I fucking could make this video. I could do that. Why Henry Ruggs is the best wide receiver in the 2020 draft, mate? I could watch a few games of the 2020 season and start making videos. Why Leonard Fournette is the best running back in the NFL and just do a bit of film study. Why Tom Brady is the worst quarterback in the NFL and just do a bit of film study. <laughs> and will let the ball get into his body at times. While this can be eliminated with coaching, this could be an issue in the NFL where windows close faster and coverage is tighter. You know what, man? We've seen enough. Honestly, we've seen enough. Basically just repeating everything that I thought and saw in the previous video. So guys, <laughs> I don't even know if this will make it to YouTube, but if it does, all it's done is provide me with motivation to start doing my own film study work. And if it's not with football, it's definitely going to be with rugby. So stay tuned. Just read, and it rings a bell, that Henry Ruggs' best friend suddenly passed away and it altered the course of his life forever. So we're not going to watch the whole series. We are going to watch episode one, and that's going to be in the next video. Following that, we're going on to Jerry Judy. And I'll see you then. Peace out.